Let's create some bite-sized ads in Adobe Spark. Let's go. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. If you are a returning guest, thank you as well. Well, today I'm going to be walking you through how to create bite-sized ads. These are ads that you can share on social media, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to. These are quick and easy ones that you can create with video. Now, I'm going to be using my phone and Adobe Spark post to create this. Now, at the moment, you can't do this on the web or on an Android. You'll need to use an iPad or an iPhone to do this. So if you don't have one, still stick around and check out this video. You might find some useful tips and tools. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Adobe Spark post here on my phone. And I'm going to import a video clip that I shot on my X-T3. You can shoot videos with your iPhone as well. I just prefer using that as my video tool. Now I'm going to tap on the green plus sign and import a video clip that I have saved in my videos album. Now, as you can see right here, this is the one I'm going to pick on the upper left corner. It's 15 seconds long. Now that's the important thing to remember when you are using these bite-sized videos in Adobe Spark. They need to be 15 seconds or less. That is a limitation on the video clip that you can use within Adobe Spark Post. I'm going to tap on that clip and import it. Now I've already done the clipping outside in my photos album. You can do it within Adobe Spark Post. I'll show you how to do that. But since my video clip has already been trimmed, so right here, as you can see, immediately when you tap on a video right here you have the option to trim the length now as you can see it's already 15 seconds now if this video clip had been about 20 seconds i would be needing to trim that down to 15 seconds so 15 second video clip remember that all right so i've got that done and now what i'm going to do is kind of add the ad or the announcement for this now this video clip is for announcing a future uh, online course that I'm developing. And so what I'll do here is I'm announcing that you want to subscribe to my newsletter. So I'm going to say here, subscribe to my newsletter. And so let's go ahead and click done. And I'm going to choose my brand font, which I have here. There's my brand font. And choose my brand color in this case it's going to be white and one of the other things i like doing with my fonts is choosing the alignment option so i'll do that subscribe to my newsletter uh, maybe trim down or minimize that spacing there we go shorten that down a bit you know so i can do that or that and maybe put that right about there and one other thing too is i don't want to add my logo to my ad here so i'll tap on the add button and if you subscribe to adobe spark you have the option to use your logo so as you can see that little yellow badge there so i'm going to tap there and bring in my logo i've got several that i use um, let's go ahead and go with that one there and probably place it over here on the left upper left corner right about there and then if i need to adjust it a little bit i'll just go and adjust it like that and uh, one of the things i like doing is because i have the logo on one corner i like putting the text on the opposite corner so it just kind of doesn't if there's kind of a nice flow and uh because something else i want to do here is maybe add some branding colors here so what i'll do is tap on the plus sign and go to icons and here in icons i'm going to search for a rectangle so there is rectangle and then i'm going to select a rectangle here and then choose add and now what i'm going to do is adjust that shape or that rectangle kind of create a lower third kind of style here so let me go ahead and resize that and maybe rotate a little bit and then i'll go into my brand colors and let me choose like that red and then what i'll do is go to edit with that rectangle selected and then duplicate that 
And now while it's selected, I'm going to go to color and now I'm going to choose one of my other colors there, my other brand colors, as you can see right there. And then if I want to, I can reorder it, put it behind or in front. What I may do is just kind of bring that down a little bit and then rotate it just a tad bit. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to do it manually, but you could also do adjust, rotate using the tool there. We'll kind of rotate it a little bit. So it's kind of askew, not perfectly, I would say, horizontal. And then let's turn that one there as well. Hold on, there we go. There it is. Take that one, adjust that one down a little bit. And then because my text looks to be behind, I'll just go and tap on that text and then go to order and bring that forward and maybe kind of drop that right there. Let's adjust that a tad bit. There we go. And uh, that green one, I'm actually going to tap on that and bring it up and then maybe tap on the red one and bring that up just a tad bit. And again, you can tweak this out. So there I kind of have a, a kind of a branded, I uh, would say, announcement, a bite-sized ad that I'm going to do here. And then the next thing I'll do is just hit on the create video button on the upper right corner to export this project. And then I can share it on social media. Now this is sized perfectly for Twitter or Facebook, kind of that landscape. So I'm going to show you here how to take this project and then change it or resize it so that you can share it on Instagram. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is actually take this project and resize it. As I mentioned, as you can see here, I've got the other social posts. Let's just say I want to post on Instagram. So there it is now resized. But as you notice, the banner or say my lower third there, my branding colors kind of changed in size. Well, this is a, a little bit of tweaking that we have to do here. So what I'll do is I'll grab that and just resize it some, bring it down here. I'll grab the red one, resize that. Looks like I have two of them. That's fine. I'll leave it like that. Take my text and resize that as well. Maybe fill that whole space down here at the bottom. And then my logo right there, what I may do is actually because resizing sometimes it changes the way it looks. So what I'll do is actually go to edit and just tap on replace. And then I'll just bring it back in and out. I can see it completely and just check that out there. Let's use the adjust button here. All right, now I'm ready to share this as well. I can go ahead and click on the share button there on the upper right corner. Now, one thing I didn't do on my other uh, video announcement is actually animate the text. So what I can do here is actually tap on animate and then click on there. And I can use any type of text animation here that goes along with my video clip behind her. So let's see if I want kind of a dynamic looking text there or one of the ones that I like doing here is either using kind of a fade or kind of a slide option there like that. And then the cool thing again in my video clip is playing and then that animated text will animate as that video starts. Now it will probably just animate just at the very beginning, but it's a nice way to add kind of a visual cue to your bite size ad. And again, all I need to do is tap on that share button on the upper right corner. It's going to create the video or I should say compress it and then make it available to export and save to my phone. And then I can share wherever I want to. And that's how you can create your own bite-sized ads using Adobe Spark Post. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Thank you again for watching this video. And as always, be good to one another.